Well, I just got back from a conference where I collected lots and lots of soda cans, like by the bag full, so we can experiment with shooting them with a coil gun. Now, one of the things we're doing, this will be the first time the coil gun has worked with the 800 volt power supply. So, we'll see what happens. Uh, the objective, of course, here is to shoot a bolt into a soda can instead of just a cardboard box, because several people on YouTube said shooting a cardboard box is lame. So, we're going to experiment and see what we need to do to do this. Of course, the first thing we need to do is get the power supply working, which, of course, it's not. So, I'll go work on it. Okay, the problem is I put a center tap on the uh, microwave oven transformer and what happens is when you pick this thing up, the cabinet weighs so much, the cabinet flexes a good half an inch and it keeps breaking off my center tap. So I've put an alligator clip in there to try to reduce the stress on the center tap and, ooh, you see those sparks? Not good. Okay, we're out again. <laughs> Stand by again while I try to fix this power supply problem. Okay, we're back again. We got the power supply running. What happened last time I tried to power it up is it melted the wire off where I center tapped the transformer. <laughs> so we're now in charge mode. Climbing. I don't know if it's quite in focus there, but it's at about uh, 600 volts. I'm a little nervous about this whole operation because this coil probably has a higher recoil than the other one. But we will move the camera back a safe distance and shoot the soda can. Here we go. Well, there's soda can number one. We went in, but we didn't come out the other side. So for the next one, we're gonna put a cinder block, I think, behind it to try to get it uh, so it can't get away from me. Okay, this time what we're gonna do is we're putting a cinder block behind the can and trying to align it so the uh, can can't get away and land, you know, 20 feet away like happened last time. The bolt landed way over away too. So here we go again. Hey, it looks like the power supply has survived. Two launches in a row, that's gonna be like uh, amazing without having to fix the power supply. And so now to set the camera down. And here goes the launch. It's in the can. Yep, we're in the can. It tried to come out the back side, but didn't quite make it through. So next trick, of course, will be to get the bolt out of the can for test run number three.